Mrs. Anna Childs was Roy's third grade teacher. That was the grade he was in his first year as an Elkhart, Kansas public school student. And I'm indebted to that lady because of something she did is just part of being a good teacher. You know, teaching English and writing is hard, and particularly hard at that first, second, and third grade level. And one of the things that she used was to have youngsters write a letter to one of the grandparents. A letter that she told them, you ask about where your dad or your mom was born and what town, what place, who the doctor was, all that sort of stuff that would indicate a little background for the kid to have. Well, Roy chose to write to my mom. And I suppose maybe he... Uh, talked about it a little bit at the time. I don't remember that at all. Neither do I remember any uh, showing of the letter that he got back from his grandma at that time, but I bet he did. But you know, you're busy on uh, this, that, and the other, and this sort of thing, even though you know it, it slips under the radar. So, you know, it completely got out of my mind. But as any of you that have followed these videos to any extent know, my older brother and I just did not get along from the very earliest years that I could remember. I, golly, I just didn't please him very much. And my mom, I remember when I was, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, junior high age, early high school, when she tried to get us boys settled down a little, I remember her taking me aside and talking to me that, yes, you boys don't seem to see anything the same now, but your big brother loves you as a little boy. In fact, he used to really take great joy in playing with you and watching out for you when you were a baby. Well, I didn't doubt that, but since my conscious memories didn't sustain it, Mom wasn't too successful in getting me to change my viewpoint. I suspect she had some conversation with Big Brother, too. Of course, never knew about that and don't know for sure now. But mothers are like that. She would have tried to ameliorate this situation, soften the relationship by talking to both of her sons individually. So the years go by... And Marvin Reed's memoirs that I had written up, quite frankly, because he had me read memoirs he had written up. And I thought, well, heck, if he can write something up, I can too. And now he's reading mine, and he's angry and telling me, no, 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 you, you just don't remember. You were not born in an elevator. You were born in a little house behind the elevator. Well... You know, I thought it was strange my mom would tell me one thing and he would tell me it's not true. Because I did remember my mother telling me I was born in an elevator. Well, lo and behold, a little later, right out of the blue, through one of our granddaughters, who'd accidentally become the custodian of the letter from mom, there it was in mom's handwriting, spelling it out. Older brother found it hard to believe, but he did recognize his mother's handwriting. Didn't hear any more about it either. But thank you, Mrs. Childs, for an English exercise. It was a good one to teach kids to write and to communicate, and that in this case helped the father who was your school superintendent a whole lot. Thank you, thank you, Mrs. Childs.